Welcome to Spawn Respawn and my name is Dylan. I am joined by Adam and we're about to jump in and have a bit of a chat about Hot Brass. So Adam, if you wouldn't mind telling us about, uh, about your game. Uh, it's a co-op tactical shooter uh, about a SWAT team entering different scenarios and trying to clear it uh, with as few casualties as possible. Few casualties as possible, so there is a focus on not murdering everyone you see. Yeah, the idea is that you're uh, only allowed to shoot at people if they pose an active threat. Uh, not doing that will result in an infraction and you won't be able to complete the mission. Uh, and a perfect mission is if you can uh, defuse every situation with uh, no casualties at all. So absolutely going for not on a murder spree. I like that. It's a little bit different to some of the other games that you may have seen. Now, when it comes to this, would you mind talking us about, uh, to us about the, uh, the top-down aspect, like the visual style that you've chosen to go with? Uh, the, the, the original idea was just that it, I thought it would be interesting to see what we can communicate with icons as opposed to people. It's like, you know, the idea that a top-down game, uh, you're usually just looking at a grey bar, and that's great, obviously, but I thought, you know, it was wondering what we can communicate by abstracting that out so we can show what you've got equipped, we can show reloading animations, we can show we use like a traffic light system for our enemies, so red means they pose an active threat, yellow means they're neutral and you don't know, and green means they're compliant. So it's about, you know, trying to communicate as much as we can through that abstraction. That's awesome, because you may have seen in terms of, because we're going to be showing some gameplay, you may see uh, when someone gets arrested, there's this awesome um, handcuff animation that goes around their circle. I thought that was really cool as well. I also thought that the blood effects looked amazing as well, considering that you don't have actual characters there. Yeah. You've got that too. So, awesome, man. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what, um, what platform it's going to be on and when uh, people can get their hands on it? Uh, definitely PC, outside of that unknown, and uh, early 2020 pending horrible delays. <laughs> Pending. No, that's awesome. We're very much looking forward to checking out Hot Brass when it does uh, when it does drop. I will mention um, that, yeah, we are very, very excited for it. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, Adam, we'll catch you next time. So cheers. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thanks for checking out this series of developer interviews from PAX Australia 2019. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our weekly podcast available on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Podbean. Just search for Spawn Respawn. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at SpawnRespawnPC. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you again soon.